All right, folks, so I was really curious about height and width animation that's going to be included in the animate function in Native Script 6. So I wanted to take it for a spin. Let's check it out how it's going to work. All right, so I went ahead and downloaded Native Script 6. This is the preview version. This is not even the go live version. So I'm working with really early bits. If you want to try this out yourself, you just have to pop open the terminal, install native script six. So you would say NPM install global native script, and you can say at next to get the next version. All right. Once you do that, you can create a new project and then make sure that you install TNS core modules at next so this will download this package automatically and then you want to say tns platform add ios at next and tns platform add android ios if you want to see how to do that you can read this blog post by nathaniel anderson he explains some of the issues that he's running into right now with native script 6. i'm sure these will all be worked out by the time the thing is released but he also shows you how to install and get going with the next version to try it out all right so i got that installed and it's working now i want to see how to animate heights and widths so i created this hello world application and it's a little button that you can tap and all i did was went in here and in the button tap handler i took out the curly braces so we're not data binding so we're actually calling the on tap function in the code behind all right so i've created this on tap function right down here i'm going to use the new animation api let's check this out so i've got a hold of my button right here i'm going to say button dot animate i'm going to open the parens here and let's check this out here are all the different things we can animate now background color curve delay blah 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 oh look at that we have height in there and we have width in there check it out all right let's do height i'm really curious about this what does that take a string, a number, a length dip unit, a length pixel unit, or a length percent unit. That's a lot of different things. I'm just going to go with a number here, 300. And we also need to specify duration. Let's do this over two seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and have HMR do its magic. And there we go. There's the animation. Now notice something happened here. I'm going to do this again for you. In order to do this again, I'm going to change the number a little bit so that it reloads. There we go. Now notice when I tap on this, the space for the button actually expands. This 42 taps left label actually gets shifted down immediately. So there's enough space for the ending value, which is 320. When I tap that, everything jumps down and then the button expands from the middle up and down to take up 320 units. This is good for certain things. This is good for performance, I'm guessing. That's probably why they did it that way. But I personally don't like the way it's looking. So if you watched my JavaScript animation video that I recently did here on my channel, I'll link to it down below in the description and in the card up above. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to comment this out and I've already prepared that little code sample right here. So if you watch that video, you'll get to see how we create and build up this animation helpers functions that I've created here. So I've included that in this project as well. And I'm going to call animate over two seconds going from 40 to 300 and I'm going to assign the height to those values. So let's check that out. When I tap the button, you can see the smooth animation going from top to bottom. This is what I would expect to happen if I animate the height of the button, not the sudden jump and then animation from there. I would expect a smooth animation all the way through. Now I would expect that label that gets moved down gradually, not suddenly. So let's check that out again. I'm going to change this to 320 here and tap. And there it is. It's a smooth, gradual animation. I know that this is a very new thing for a native script to have height and width animation, but uh, I'm hoping that there's going to be some option for us to be able to either choose the sudden jump and then an animation from the ending location or to be able to animate like this, where it's a smooth and gradual change for all the views that are surrounding the animated view. And when I check the animate function, there's actually no property in there that resembles such a feature. So I hope a little bit later, or maybe even now before Native Script 6 comes out. Let's keep that on a wish list. But it's good to know that you have these kinds of options. You can use the animation that's built in, or you can use that JavaScript animation function that I've showed you before. Also, if you're using Angular, you can use um, RxJS for your animations. 
and you can see my earlier videos specifically the one i did on the progress bar also on this channel where i show you how to use rxjs animations all right folks thanks for coming and subscribe to this channel if you like news like this about native script and other tutorials tips and tricks and i will see you in the next video later